Hello one and all, my name's James from mypeexam.org and the Everlearner. Thanks for joining me. Look, I'm logged in here as a first student, maybe the best of them all. Just a little test account. I just want to show you something that we're really proud to launch uh, today, and that's the WJC GCSE PE 9 to 1 curriculum. You see here, I'm enrolled for this course, but I haven't completed any of its content just yet. I've got 105 elements of this to go, and um, I need to get started. Likewise, my group that I'm part of as a student is, is likewise not started yet. So this is pretty much what your students would see when you enroll them once you've enrolled your groups to the site. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the students, I'm going to go to my course and I'm going to have a look at the content. You see here, there's a whole bunch of content related to my qualification that I'm going to work my way through and study at a self-paced rhythm. That's very important, at a self-paced rhythm. So a couple of the facets of that would be, let's take tutorial one on health and well-being. The student may well take this in lesson one with you. But if they do a question on it for homework, say, a month later, they can come back to the tutorial and study it, study it again, or indeed the night before their exam, whatever they need to. So that content in there, this video content in here, is available to them endlessly. Now, I don't know why, but I don't really want to show you health and well-being. Let me choose one. Let's let's do uh, let's do something. Let's do uh, long-term effects of exercise, for argument's sake. Okay, I've got some content in here which is going to teach me basically about adaptations. Let me put that on for you. Noticing, please, this progress bar down at the bottom. In my last video, I taught you uh, at some length about so the idea of short term. So it's following on from the previous tutorial. Changes that affect your exercise, but they were very much temporary changes that occur. In this video, I want to talk about the long term effects of exercise. Now, you see here the progress has been tracked of the part of the video that the student has actually watched. If I say click to here, for example, I'm looking at the respiratory adaptations, you'll notice tracking is going to occur, oh, sorry, cardiac adaptations, tracking is going to occur at that part of this progress bar and it's going to give me the total. So in other words, the student has not watched this part, okay? So that's really important. The student can know what they've seen, what they haven't seen, and they can check for gaps as they go. Now then, other things, when this number here, currently 7%, make it bigger, currently 7%, when that turns to 80%, the student will be prompted with a question, have you fully understood this content? If they hit yes, it's marked as mastered. If they hit no, it shows, it will flash up, I'll show in a second, an indication to the teacher that the student is struggling with that content. So that's important. Struggling is not a bad thing, it's just an indicator that support is needed. But the student can also study the tutorial and they can take this quiz notice six perfect answers in a row please complete the gap fill um, by using the terms below to accurately describe how long-term training can improve recovery capacity so here are the words i've got to include and i'm going to include them here by the way i'm not reading the gap fill so please don't judge me for wrong answers um, i hope i haven't written anything rude by putting those in there and i check my answer and importantly i get the feedback of what was correct i actually happened to get stroke for stroke volume correct in there but the others i got wrong so the feedback is important to me next i've got a, 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 a matching up here again i'm not checking my answers to it, so please forgive me but i'm matching up items here and I got one right, but again, I'm shown now the feedback which gives me the core indication of what I need to do next time. This one is what we call a multiple choice, not one possible answer, but multiple. Which of the following are real cardiovascular adaptations that take place as a result of regular aerobic training? So we're looking for cardiovascular. So increased blood flow, that should be one. Increased oxygen delivery to muscle. Increased capillary density, that's a good one. Increased stroke volume, yes. Increased maximum heart rate, that's cardiovascular. Bigger lungs. Well, that would be respiratory and also a questionable adaptation. Did I get them right? Now, one thing, if the student made one mistake in there, the question would be wrong. The answer would be wrong. They have to get it perfectly correct. But of course, they can repeat it as many times as they need to. And just so you know, because it kind of oddly added the, it looks like we, oh, sorry, increased maximum heart rate. Well, that's just not an adaptation, of course. Oh, I'm sure you were judging me at that point. So yes, there are two incorrect answers at the bottom. Just so you know, these answers are mixed up. They're, they're not necessarily correct and incorrect. You just worked out that way this time. And my feedback is there. These are adaptations. Here, a single choice, which of the following physiological processes is not a long-term adaptation to aerobic training. Low resting heart rate, increased stroke volume, increased muscle temperature, cardiac hypertrophy. Well, it's muscle temperature because it's temporary. It's a short-term effect. And I get my answer right. Anyway, I'm not going to answer this one. We keep going. 
until we get our six questions answered. And then at the end of the quiz, you know, I've got a few options here. I can have a look at the leaderboard. This is just going to show me the 25 last students to take the quiz. So imagine you've got 25 students in your class all doing it at the same time, for example. They would be able to see one another's results, just, just the, the headlines, as it were. They can also review all of their questions. This is really important as part of the process with the feedback. And of course, for me, I didn't get my six, six in a row, so I start the quiz again. And I can repeat that quiz. Let's see, we might get some repeat questions, but we do get a lot of different questions as well. In there. I'll get a couple of repeats in here, but you get the idea. Uh, I'm getting a lot of repeats in here. That's just happens to so look a different question. One of the things about repetition is that um, we have a bank of questions behind all of these quizzes. It's good that the students repeat questions. The key is always to work towards that six in a row. Now, let me show you what the teacher sees. I'm now a test teacher. Here's my group on WJC GCSEP 9 to 1. I can go and have a look at the course content as a teacher as well to prepare myself for my lessons, but I'm probably going to have a look in stats. So what have we got here? I've just got two students, first student and second student. Imagine this table was 20 or 30. And I'm going to scroll across to where we were studying, and I'm going to find that, look, on long-term effective exercise tutorial and long-term effective exercise quiz, Oops, my student is, didn't mean to actually export that then. My student here is in progress, is in progress, okay? So if they uh, if they go to struggling because on the quiz, struggling in a quiz is two or more attempts without six in a row, it would go orange. And that would, of course, indicate to me as the teacher that I need to go and support that student in that specific content area or that specific skill area. With the tutorial, they have to watch 80% and agree that they've understood it. So of course, in this case, I haven't seen enough. And we can show that because here on the video, long-term effects of exercise, I've done one minute 20 only, not enough to, to have watched it all. And on the quizzes, I've done three minutes um, only, so not enough. Uh, well, it could be enough to pass the quiz, but it gives me an indication. The other thing is also on time is the effort report. If I click on effort report here, we get feedback here that, that, that this student has done a total of 4 minutes 20 outside of school hours. They would have a second bar here in red if they'd studied in school time. And the second student has the same thing if they've been active. And again, you can look at the content down here. So I strongly encourage you to uh, get your students to use this site, to enroll them. I strongly encourage you as the teacher to, to access our courses, to use our tracking material, to allow students to take learning and teaching at a self-paced rather than one page fits all model. And what you're gonna see is results coming from that. Come on Wales, let's get you involved. We're proud to, re to release this WJC. Sign up please, all the best.